Okay, the eyedropper tool in Corel Draw is one of my favorite tools. Okay, because it's really handy, especially when you want to sample a color. Um, let's just say, for example, here, and let's say that's a special color, and I want to put a fill, which is the same color here. Okay, so I can use the eyedropper tool. So I click on that, and in the property bar here, it's a sample color. So I'm going to click on to sample this color okay and once I click on that one if you go here in the lower right corner it says your powder blue okay then I'll go to the object that I want to make it the same feel as this one I hold down shift and then click and there shift and there okay so that's that's one of the uses of the eyedropper tool now the eyedropper tool also can be use uh, is, it can also be used to sample an a color in an image so this one is a jpeg and let's say I want to sample a color of this part here of the wall so I click on that and uh, hold down shift and then pour okay so if you look at this one it's the same color as as uh, as the as this one here so again, if I want to sample a color from here, let's say I'm going to zoom in here and get the color of the flag here. Click on that and then hold down shift and then pour. See, so it took the color of that. Now the eyedropper tool too is also, it's also there's lots of uses. Uh, you can also use it for copying uh, a drop shadow so if I click on the eyedropper tool and the default is sample color but if you click on this one it can be object art attributes okay it can get the attributes of an object okay so I click on object attributes and this one shows the properties here okay let's say I want just want to copy the drop shadow not the outline the field or text okay so I'm just going to uncheck that and then I'll click OK and here in transformation, I'll uncheck that. But here in effects, since I want to copy the drop shadow, I'll click on drop shadow and click OK. Okay. So I'm going to click on the drop shadow. Okay. Now it samples the drop shadow attribute. And I go to my my text here and I hold down shift and then I click. And notice that it copied the drop shadow with this one. And I can also do it here. Hold down shift. There. So drop shadow. Okay. Not only drop shadow, you can do lots of effects. Let's say perspective, power clip, contour. Uh, let's try perspective here. So I'm going to uncheck that and click OK. And I'm going to uh, make a text here. And then I'm going to put some perspective on it so add perspective I'm going to do it this way it's gonna exaggerate like that and then going to type in another letter here let's say letter I'll make it the same one as letter S okay. now if I want to copy that perspective okay so I click on my eyedropper tool and I'll click on perspective here for the effects click OK so I click on this one okay and then I hold down shift and pour to this letter S, the bigger S, and see it copied the same uh, effects.